Warriors for the win. By Andrew Joyner. Contench. Ditto. Big Boris, he's a lot like you. Favorite backpack. Favorite magnifying glass. Favorite shirt. Favorite snack. Favorite yo-yo. Favorite book this week. And that's all I see. He lives with his mom and dad. This is mom, this is dad. This is their home. I know it's a little damp, but I could tell you. They live inside of a very cool bus. They live in a bus. I mean, like, seriously. They, they actually live in a bus. And... And um, the, bo the bus usually never leaves the yard, but in Boris on the move, the bus was actually moving. It has lots of pets. This is Lion. This is Frank. This is a stink. This is Ethel. This is Tina. This is Quince. Quince is like a very funny duck. Boris likes to walk to school with his friends. This is Roger. This is Alice. This is their teacher. And he likes to dream. Boris dreams of big leaps. He dreams of big tricks. Yo-yo time. <laughs> and big treasure. But he mostly dreams about big adventures. You'll never be bored when Boris is around. He so hit your eye for his next adventure. He can take you anywhere, up in the clouds, into a pyramid, or maybe just around the corner. Hey. <laughs> Chapter 1. Boris was practicing for field day. There would be a high jump, a long jump, and an egg and spoon race, hurdles, and, and a tug of war. But they were starting with the around the track marathon. Mrs. Huff led the class to the starting line. Ready, set, go! They're probably all just like ganging up everywhere. Boris ran as fast as he could, but he couldn't quite. Oh, wait. Boris ran as fast as he could. He wanted to win, but he couldn't quite get there the pr 
problem was Eddie. Eddie could run the fastest. He could jump the highest and the longest. When they tried the hurdles, Eddie cleared them all with ease. Have a nice trip. <laughs> but Boris and Frederick had some trouble. Chapter 2. I'm to practice Boris, Frederick, and Alice at lunch. Why do I always have to come in last? And why does Eddie always have to win? What they needed was a plan. Boris thought and thought and thought. Then he had an idea. And look. And how many pages did I not show? Uh, maybe it was to the start of the next page in chapter one. Or maybe. Oh, it was. It was this one that I didn't show quite. This one I didn't sh didn't quite show. This one I didn't show. And then this. Then we have this. And one note. I'm sorry if I don't show the pages. It's because I'm too into reading. Okay? Well, that's fine. What they needed was a plan. Boris thought and thought and thought. Then he had an idea. And in his idea, it's where um, Frederick and Boris, Frederick and Boris, um, both won. And like, and he was like lying like, Frederick, we are all going to be winners. Come over to my place after school. Frederick, bring your sweatbands. That afternoon, when Frederick and Alice got to go to Boris's place, it looked a, it looked a little different. Boris and Frederick's top secret training plan, Coach Alice, high jump Boris Frederick, long jump Boris Frederick, tug of war Boris Frederick, hurdles Boris Frederick, egg and spoon race Boris and Frederick, marathon Boris Frederick, they were both trying to win. They trained every day after the school fair for the next week. They did the high jump, the long jump, tug of war, 
the hurdles. And even even the egg and spoon race. And, and finally that night before field day, they ran a marathon. All the way to Frederick's house. It's my nationals. They're very sen they're very sensitive at this type of movie, yeah. Chapter 4. It was field day. Boris had never cut butter, and Alice was ready to go. Hey, but where's Frederick? Frederick. He's somewhere. But Frederick didn't look so good. He had the most terrible... He had the most terrible hay fever. Boris got off to a great start. Start. He jumped his highest jump and cleared every hurdle. But he still couldn't be Eddie. Too easy. No one could be Eddie. I'm not even trying. Alice tried to cheer Borsa up. Don't worry, there's still one more race. But Boris knew he had to try even harder if he wanted to win. It was most it was the most important race of the day. Step five. It was the most important race of the day. The Ron the Track Marathon. Marisha's halfway with the stars and flag. They were off. It was a long race, so Boris took it easy at first. Eddie was on out front, but Boris was catching up. Some of Eddie's friends tried to slow Boris down. But he hurled one. He dodged another. And soon he was in second place, right behind Eddie. They'd been running for a long time, but Boris wasn't even tired. They ran around the corner. Boris could see the finish line up ahead. But suddenly he couldn't see Eddie. I must be in front. Chapter 6. Boris turned his head, and he was right behind him. Then Boris noticed Frederick wasn't even running. He was barely walking. Boris kept running. Boris kept running. Running and running. And he was going to win. He was going to win. But what about Frederick? Boris went back past Eddie, back past Alice, and went back past the rest of the class. Finally, he reached Frederick. I can't go on. We're finishing this race, Frederick. And you're not coming in last. Chapter 7. Boris tried not to look at the finish line. He couldn't bear to watch Eddie win. Not again. But then Frederick noticed something. He knew Boris would want to see. Look, Boris, look. It was Sally. She was running faster than she had ever ran before. She was in 
fourth place, third place, second, and across the finish line. Across the finish line. She won. Go, Frederick. You, you can make it from here. So Alice came in first. Eddie came in second. Boris and Frederick, well, they did win something. The best and fairest cup. The end.